Today I brought some work home with me and that means you see here I have an older laptop. It's a Lenovo laptop. It's about five years old and always like magic over time they're getting slower and slower. Some people just buy a new one, wasting a lot of money. And uh, but when you have such a such an uh, uh, such a laptop with an old-fashioned mechanical hard drive, you can just replace this mechanical hard drive with an SSD here, like the Western Digital Blue. It's one terabyte. You can just clone the contents of the old mechanical hard drive onto a brand new one terabyte Western Digital Blue. And because there's no moving parts involved, the computer, the whole system will run so much faster. And uh, should you have such a configuration at home, yeah, just don't buy a new computer, replace your old mechanical hard drive with an SSD like this one. I want to clone the contents of this old mechanical hard drive onto this SSD here. Uh, the process I'm using is very easy. You see here a docking station for hard drives. It can be one of those small laptop hard drives or even one of those big desktop hard drives. You just plug it in here and it is connected by USB 3.0 with your main computer. I call this little device here actually a toaster because it looks like a toaster. Yeah, uh, This toaster here also has the ability to clone just inside uh, this docking station here. I have never used this functionality. I don't know it. I don't use it. Yeah, I'm using a, a different a different way, which I feel more more comfortable with. So let's start. I have here already in the docking station the uh, old hard drive, and I ran check disk on on this hard drive just to see if there's anything wrong, bad sectors, corruption, often files. You know the whole gambit so that a uh, check disk can fix all that so that I have a nice image to transfer from old hard drive to new S SSD. Opening up here the SSD box. Everything is of course nicely sealed. Okay, this is done. And here it is. Yeah, SSD, one terabyte. Here's always this little thing removed before installing. I don't know why they put the stuff on here. Let's remove it and uh, and insert it into the uh, docking station or the toaster as I call it. All right, pose this in. Let's turn it on. In order to clone the old hard drive, I'm using a software which is called Mini Tool Partition Wizard Pro. The great thing about Mini Tool Partition Wizard Pro is, even in the free version of it, yeah, you can easily uh, clone your hard drives. What you see here now is the paid version. I will show you now step by step how I'm uh, cloning uh, the old hard drive. Just click on launch application and there it is. You version detected, not right now. As you can see here, here you see it detected, the software detected four hard drives in my computer, which is correct. This is my boot drive, my data drive. Here is the old mechanical hard drive from the customer. And here is the new SSD, uh, one terabyte. Everything is unallocated. Next step is I'm clicking here on the uh, copy disk wizard. We go here. Welcome to the copy disk wizard. Next. Okay, select a disk to copy. And this would be this one, disk number three. It is about 500 gigabytes. It is here on SM, SMT USB 3.0, which means it's in the toaster. The smaller hard drive is the source drive. Okay, I'm selecting this one. 
And we go to next and now select the target disk, which of course is the same toaster, but it's a bigger one, disk 4. You have to be really careful when you choose your source and your target disk, because when you get it wrong, yeah, your disk with all the information will be deleted, wiped clean when you get it wrong. So please be very careful. So as I said, this here is the target disk, easy to identify, and you can see here everything unallocated and we click on next so tar target layout blah 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 change now we don't need to change anything here oh yeah here uh, please click on fit partitions to entire disk in this case it means that the 500 gigabyte uh, drive will be increased to one terabyte yeah, and align partitions to one megabyte, it could improve performance for advanced format disk and SSD. So always check also that box here, and this looks good, this is the target disk layout, and we click on next. Uh, please note, boot from the new disk, please configure computer BIOS setting. Make sure the new disk is configured as the default boot disk. Usually you don't have to change anything in the BIOS. Now we click on finish. And in order now to start the whole process, here in the upper left corner, you see there is a little check mark, apply changes. We click on apply changes and apply pending changes. Note, we strongly recommend that you close all other, other applications, blah, blah, blah. Yes, fine. And whoop. And there it is. Now it is uh, copying the contents of the old hard drive onto the new SSD. It will take a while, so I will not film the whole thing. I will come back to you guys when the whole cloning is done. All right? All right. Well, my friends, this is it. This is how I clone an old mechanical hard drive, smaller size usually, onto an SSD, usually a bigger size, by using the software uh, Mini Tools Partition Wizard Pro. I have bought the full version. I believe it costs about $60, which also allows you to uh, turn it into a portable version when you are a technician to put it onto a thumb drive. I like the software, uh, especially I like that the free version has already so many full funct functions which you can use for your com computer without paying a single dime. Only for example, if you want to turn uh, mini tools into a, a portable version, you have to have the full version, which is not that expensive. 
All right, this is just my five cents, how I do cloning, how I'm upgrading old, old or older laptops. And uh, there are many other ways how to do it. I just have found that this way, how I do it, is a very safe way. Uh, very rarely a clone does not work right. So they have to clone again or even wipe out the whole clone and reinstall Windows 10 totally from scratch. This is Michael with the Wupnik channel and I'm signing off for now. But please don't forget to subscribe to my uh, channel and like this video. There was a lot of sweaty work in this video because right now outside here in Los Angeles it is 100 degrees Fahrenheit and I have here in my studio so many lamps. It heats it up in addition and I cannot turn on the AC because it makes too much noise. Okay, my friends, have a great and wonderful weekend. I hope you will enjoy your weekend and please stay safe. I need you, my subscribers, to stay healthy, okay? All right. Well, have a great one and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.